Hey everyone, I was just thinking about it and I haven't showed you all my chickens yet. I've had chickens almost five years now and since the garden's all done along with all the berries so all the hard work's gone we can kind of go back and catch up on things that we didn't show you before. So I have 17 chickens. Here's where I collect eggs. I collect eggs from the back. I have 10 uh, nesting boxes. So we do have a few eggs today. They have their favorite boxes. Usually they just lay in two or three boxes since I only have 17 chickens, however. So here's all my chickens in here, 14 hens and three roosters. Uh, we have our all black Indonesian Amsamani rooster over there. He kind of blends in with the shadows. And then we have a rooster right here in the middle. And then we have our last rooster over here, the leg bar. Uh, they roost up here on these two two by fours. Uh, it's about 12 by 10 in this um, in this coop. Uh, we have the feeder over here. I'm able to fill it from the outside. This holds approximately 25 pounds of feed, and I'm filling it every week, week and a half. Uh, we have a five. Here's where we fill the coop from the outside. We just open this up right here, and then we're able to just fill it up. And uh, I use 100 pound bags of uh, green tag from the co-op. Uh, it's just mash in here. And uh, 100 pounds usually run 16 to 17 dollars and a half. Uh, we have a five gallon water for the time being. Uh, it holds five gallons and we fill it every week. Uh, here soon we're gonna have a 275 gallon water tote that feeds off of the gutters of this building and then that'll take care of all the watering needs through the summer hopefully if I have to I'll put a little water in it here and there the wall in here is made from repurposed pallets four pallets and then uh, chicken wire on the bottom couple feet that helps with uh, no chickens getting in no raccoons possums anything like that uh, we have an LED bulb in here that runs 24 7 um, I've been doing that for predators since last May I had a bear get in and kill 25 of my chickens um, we have another 25 chickens coming in July, and I'll run a couple more 2x4s from these two here across to this back wall over here. Um, for the most part, they're only going to be in here to roost because they're soon going to be free-ranging outside in a fenced-in area about an acre and a half. Um, they did free-range up until two weeks ago when I planted the strawberries, and uh, they tried to scratch some up, so they've been locked up and are definitely ready to get back outside. Um, I built this little mini coop on the top here. I have 16 guineas in here that'll also be going out in the field, but they're gonna be separated from the chickens. They're gonna, the guineas are gonna take care of all the berry plants, the blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries because they don't scratch like chickens do. Pretty excited for that. That's pretty much it for my chickens. Uh, most chickens are pretty docile. You're not going to have a problem handling them. Um, I've only had one rooster ever that... Uh, talkative little thing. I've only had one rooster that, uh, that I ever had a problem with flogging people, but uh, he's no longer with us. And uh, so we have 17 chickens, 16 guineas, and we'll have 25 more chickens here in a couple months. So if uh, I put a post out, we're going to be selling eggs here in a few months, um, first come, first serve.